In this video, I'm going to provide you with a quick overview of your Hegarty Phonemic Awareness Quick Check Assessments and how to enter data from those assessments into a tracker to help you monitor student progress. Inside of your folder that I will share with you, in your grade level folder, you'll see two things. The first is a Google Doc that looks like this, and it's your Quick Check Guide by Month, which has all of the Quick Check assessments that you will do each month. One thing to note here, the quick checks that are required to do this year are highlighted in yellow. These ones that you see, for example, this one here for substitute phonemes, because this is not highlighted in yellow, this is an optional assessment. The yellow assessments, the ones highlighted in yellow, are there because that's the last time in the curriculum that you'll teach that skill. For the assessments not highlighted in yellow, those skills are taught over several weeks or several months in the curriculum. And so I've added in some optional assessments here if you want to do a progress check to see where students are on that skill. But again, that's not required. This is what your Hegarty tracker will look like. On this summary page, this first tab, you're only going to enter students' names here in yellow. You won't enter any into any other cells on this page. So for example, just going to type a couple names in here. And you'll notice that as I type names in yellow on this summary page, they pre populate into the pages on each of the other months. Okay, so you only have to enter student names once. Then let's say you're sitting down to give a quick check in September. Let's use this blending quick check as a sample. You're going to sit down one-on-one -on -one with a student and turn to week three Thursday's blending activity, which is on page seven of your manual. You'll administer that activity just as you would as if you were doing it with the whole class. However, this time you'll pay close attention to if the student is getting the answer right or wrong. You're only going to do that for five items within each assessment. So you'll notice if you turn to page seven, there are 10 blending, blending exercises within that one day's lesson. You only need to administer the first five, and that's true for every skill. You'll notice that on every single skill in this guide, mastery would be four or five correct. So even if there are multiple items, you only need to do the first five. So you'll give that quick assignment to that student, and then as the student responds, you'll have your tracker open and enter how many that student got correct, just like this. And you'll see, depending on what you enter, it'll color code green, meaning they are proficient in that skill, they're showing mastery, yellow and orange mean they're developing proficiency, and zero or one would mean that they do not yet have um, any mastery of that skill. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-populate this. Okay, and here you'll notice that all of those scores automatically pre-populate onto the summary tab. So again, you won't need to do any entering onto this tab. You'll only enter into the yellow cells for each assessment and it will pre-populate for you. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to reach out with any questions.